What's up, YouTube fam? It's your girl, Amanda Shanae. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button to become a treasure bay. So, today I'm going to do a kind of day in the life. Um, it's my off day from my 9 to 5 job, or actually 7, seven to 7 job, because I work 12-hour shifts at the hospital. But, um, sorry I'm not, my, my face is not on the camera. I look a hot mess. Um, so, sorry I've been gone for so long. i just been trying to... If you guys didn't know, I hurt my shoulder. Um, it turns out my rotator cuff was not um, damaged. So I had I was diagnosed with three different things. Don't ask me the name of it. I have it somewhere on my phone. But it's pretty much it's a whole bunch of like inflammatory and swelling um, in my shoulder and around my shoulder blade and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm suffering from. So I had got an injection in my shoulder. Uh... It's not a cortisone shot. It's um, something stronger than that. It was like a pain med and a a steroid. So mixed together in the shot. Big behind needle. Yes, I took my mom with me. I should have vlogged it, but I didn't because I was scared. But whatever, that's over with. My shoulder is not 100%, but it is a good 75. <laughs> it hurts from time to time, but yep. Yeah, mm. No pain, no gain. So anyway, I just wanted to come on here real quick. Sorry for the lighting. It is a gloomy, gloomy day outside. Um, I need to order a ring light, but yeah. So I'm trying to balance going back to work full time. And I've been working like day shift and night shift. And then, you know, I have three kids. My girls run track. So it's kind of like, and then I have a business. So it's kind of trying to, I'm trying to balance everything. So I'm supposed to go full-time the day shift but I haven't converted over that way yet so I'm still working night shifts as well so it's a lot but hey um God has blessed me to be here another day I am not complaining because there's a lot of other people that have a way worse than me so anyway let's get into this vlog I am currently drop my kids off to school I actually packed um I ran out of small boxes so I had to pack my two of my wholesale orders in these large um gold bubble millers they only ordered one loaf so it's and, and they cut they wanted it cut into 10 bars eat both of these two people so this packed in here so i'm going to drop those off all my wholesale orders come via ups so excuse me i was going to drop those off now i had to run to walmart this morning and get ink uh, for my printer I actually ordered two, I ordered ink off Amazon, but I ordered two color inks instead of one black and one color beyond me, but whatever. So I had to run it, um, get some ink to print labels. I should have recorded that, but it's just, it's been a fast morning. So um, I hope you guys are doing well. It's been a long time since I posted. I hope everyone is staying safe. Um... Yeah, so right now I'm going through emails. This is usually um, any day that I'm off or whatever. I usually start my morning going through emails and responding to emails, deleting junk mail. I go through my personal and my uh, business email. I get emails from my kids' school every freaking day. So yeah, um, some a couple people requested me. They wanted to see like my process on making cold process soaps. So I am not giving my recipe. I'm not giving my measurements, but you can watch my process. So the reason why I came on camera was because I wanted to go ahead and prep my lye solution before I ran to UPS. That way it gives it some time to cool down. You can put it in the refrigerator. I used to, but you also, you also want to make sure that it's like not around small children or pets um, and all that kind of stuff. And my kids are pre-teens and teens, so I don't have that problem. And I use, y'all, I, I ain't even gonna care. I, <laughs> I kind of borrowed some some containers from, from work that I used to put my last solution in. So, <laughs> yeah, that's that. So I'm going to finish with the emails. I just wanted to come in and give an intro. And then you guys, my next clip, you'll see me um, getting together my life solution. And I wanted to, today I'll be making two, two, because I'm trying to get ready for my restock for Black Friday. Hopefully I can have everything done in time. It's, 
it's been a lot trying to readjust going to work um going back to work because you know i was out for a few months i was out because of covid and then i was out because of my injury so because i originally was prn at the hospital so they got away like they let go of like all contract people and prn people didn't really get too many hours so i was out because of that but now i'm trying to go full time so yeah so i'm done with the emails and the next clip you will see me getting together my live solution and then I'm going to go to UPS and then I'll come back and prep my oils and butters for um, the soap. I don't even know if I finished saying what I was saying. I'm about to make my activated charcoal and turmeric um, bars. Everybody loves these. I've been out of stock for so long and so many people have been requesting them. So I want to make extra. I probably end up making four loaves of those, but today I'm only making two. So yeah, see you in the next clip. I just wanted to come on here real quick and say, I don't know about y'all, but um, my beat behind I gained some quarantine weight. <laughs> so I started drinking apple cider vinegar and lemon and water every morning. I got on vapor rub and my waist shaper, honey. I did my little exercises this morning. Um, I was walking. I walked every day for like two months. My goal was a month, but I stretched it out for two months. I walked every morning, but... The guy across the street is low-key a pervert, and I don't have his kind of time. So, yeah, I stopped. I stopped walking. Um, so, anyway, you definitely need <laughs> distilled water for um, cold process soap, whatever. These are the containers I told you I, I borrowed from work. So, yeah, don't tell nobody. So I'm going to put, um, let me bring you, sorry, over here, I, I got some, um, some sprays made for my restock. So right now I'm going to zero out my scale, of course, and then I know my recipe by heart. So I'm going to measure out my distilled water for both cups. Let me just make sure I'm right. I feel like I haven't made cold process soap in so long. I have a, a thousand notebooks, y'all. Y'all got to write everything down because, well, I have to because I'm forgetful. It's always great to have. See, and I poured the wrong amount of water. No, I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't. I knew I wasn't tripping. Okay. I have my recipe written down twice because one um one of the recipes my water is cut like I uh did a water discount and I'm not gonna use it this for this soap so because I have a couple of weeks till um restock so and I get this little my distilled water from Walmart. It's like 78 cents. I don't know. Something like 97 cents. Something like that. It's, I know it's less than a dollar. And where is my lye? I get my lye from Essential Depot, but I order through um, Amazon, of course. So I'm going to zero out my scale. You guys are supposed to wear long sleeves, gloves. You're supposed to have eyewear when dealing with lye solution. Um... I've been doing this for a couple of years, so I don't, I mean, I, I'm, I'm showing a good example today, so, yeah, so, yeah, this is what my lie looks like, and I'm going to measure out my vi, and you guys, this gets, lie can get really, really hot, and you always want to add your lie into water. Never add your water into lye because it can splash up and hit you in your face and you can suffer a chemical burn. This lye, I, lye can get really hot, you guys. It can get over like 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So, I used to add, I think it's a teaspoon, it's either a teaspoon or a tablespoon. You guys have to Google it, but it's either a teaspoon or a tablespoon of salt 
per pound you can add to your lash solution is supposed to make um, your bars harder. You can also add, I'm sorry for the lighting. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, bear with me, y'all. I'm trying to get it together. One of these days, I'm going to get a camera. And sometime soon, I'll get a ring light. But you know, you guys, my girl's birthday is coming up and Christmas. So just bear with me. Go through the struggle with me, y'all. Go through the struggle with the kid. But anyway, like I was saying, you can also add um, sugar to your life solution. It's supposed to make your um, soap bars bubble up more. But again, you would have to Google and see how much. I have it written down in my um, notes. I got. I can show you guys. I could tell you guys, I mean. And then you have Tessa Silk. I used to add that. I still have some. I just don't. I just don't use it. But I, I have. It lasts a long time because you only need a little bit of Tessa. You see the. Te yeah, I think it's called pronounced Tessa Silk. Um, you can add to your life solution too. It makes your bar softer. I used to do all that at the beginning, y'all. Excuse me. And I do also add. One thing about the apple cider vinegar, it is acidic and it makes me burp. So excuse me, but um, um, I do still add um colloidal oatmeal to these bars and kaolin clay. So this is what my light solution looks like. If you guys don't believe me about how hot it gets, hold on, let me get my thermometer. My sister was a marine, y'all. That's why you see this um, marine sweater. See, this is 196. Yeah, it's 196. So I'm just going to add lye to the next one. Zero out my scale, of course. And when I run the UPS, I will um, come back and take the temperature. Lye solution, some some people prep this beforehand, like the night before or the day before. You could prep, you could prep lye solution however many days in advance. Some people do it in batches and they do their oils in batches too. I've never, I forgot what it's called, but I've never done that because I don't, <laughs> I don't make that much soap to do that, but. Oh, this lye solution is. Powerful. I mean, lye can be powerful. That odor will hit you in your face and make you start coughing. This is this bottle of those two pounds of oh, excuse me, see lye. Some people do this outside just because um, it's so it could be so strong. But I'm so used to it. And if you can't, you probably can't see, but it's smoke coming because it gets so hot. Watch. Let's see what this one is. 211 no cap so you'll probably see me do my oils and butters here at the table and then I'll go in the kitchen to actually make the soap and the lighting will be much much better again I'm sorry please don't come for me in the comments you do not have to watch the video if the lighting is bothering you that bad some people can be real rude in the comments some I don't I try to respond to people, but sometimes I don't get notified, or sometimes um, people are just so rude, or they ask it for information that they can find, just like I found, you know. So, yeah, and some people are so understanding. I'm so grateful for the people that understand and um, leave me nice comments. Thank you so much. So that is how I prep my life solution, and just. Because I mentioned it, let me tell you, get your notebook and let me tell you what you can add to life or your the additives you can add to your life solution. You can add salt. You can you add a half or one teaspoon per pound of oils. So, yeah, I make three pound batches so I could um, put in three teaspoons or half, which is one and a half. You can add a teaspoon of sugar to warm saline to warm light solution, a half teaspoon per pound of oils, um, colloidal oatmeal, two tablespoons to the oils, not the light solution, 
per pound of oils. And then Kaylin Clay, two teaspoons. Um, to the oils and butters. And then I got cocoa milk and goat milk because I, I it was a time I did all that too. But you, you guys see that I have, you see my room and linen spray recipe, my soap recipe, my lotion bars, and I don't know what that is. It's a whole, this is like my recipe book. And then I have another one with recipes and then it has YouTube ideas and see whip soap and body butters and my face serum. A lot of this stuff I know by heart, but... It's always good to have it right now. Okay, so I'm gonna run to UPS and then I'll be back and to measure out the oils and the butters. Such a nasty day out, but I'm here. Wow, look how they parked. My gosh, let me hurry up. Hey guys, I decided to not do a whole vlog because I don't really do much and I just looked at the <laughs> links of the um, previous clips and I don't want this video to be long as heck so I'm just going to do this is just going to be a prepping video and um yeah this is going to be a prepping I don't even know if I'm going to add the previous clips so if I don't hello um, my name is Armani Shanae. Thanks for um, watching this video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button to become a treasure bay. That was a horrible intro, but you get the drip. So I already did the light. I have to add the previous clip because of the light solution. But, well, I'm just telling y'all that it's just going to be like a prepping for cold process video, not a vlog. So I just ran to UPS. The temp is 143 for the second one. 141 for the first one so if you do know you all you want to um you want the light solution to be like around room temperature so i say like around well no more than 80 degrees and then you always want your light solution and your um, oils and butters to be within 15 degrees of each other so uh all my oils will probably be room temperature so i would want to wait till the light solution got around 76 78 or something like that so i'm going to prep with my oils and butters um i will tell you guys the ingredients the oils that i use and butters i use in my soaps i will not give you my um recipe as far as like the measurements so i use most cold processed soaps cannot even be made i don't even know if any can be made I think you have to have majority olive oil, but if someone knows, correct me if I'm wrong, you have to have majority olive oil in to either create cold process soap. So I have olive oil. I use canola oil, coconut oil, um, sweet almond oil, and shea butter. Sometimes I use shea and cocoa butter, but... Um, I don't know. I just I just feel like shea butter is better than cocoa uh, cocoa butter, so I just most of the time just use shea butter. But um, for my butter amount, I'll either use complete shea butter or I do half shea and half cocoa. So it's kind of whatever I have at the moment. A lot of these oils can be found at the grocery store, so if you're just starting off, you can definitely get these oils from the grocery store. Um, if you don't if you don't watch um. Her name is Katie, and I can't call her name. I cannot call. She calls herself the Duchess of, I think she calls herself the Duchess of Soap. That's why I started um, soap making. She gives you guys a free recipe. Um, she has a whole series on beginner soap makers. Um, I'll pin her channel down in the comments or the description box. I cannot call her um, channel name right now. But let me get my um, soap recipe out just to verify. And, yep, I sometimes get my, if I don't, sometimes I get my oils from the grocery store too, like the um, olive oil. And I use organic coconut oil. I got mine from BJ's. They do have some at Walmart, but this is the one I got. It's organic coconut oil. And I do melt this along with my shea butter before I put it inside with um, my batch of oils. 
So I'm going to zero out my scale and measure out the olive oil here. Okay. It's actually a little too much. I normally keep spoons in here and I'm out. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just pour some back in there. Okay. I tried to turn the light on to see if that was better, but it's still gloomy outside. I normally use um, natural light and it's just not giving me what it needs to be giving me today. So, um, next, I will use... Let me get it. Let me find all my oils. I should have been more prepared. My bad, you guys. I forgot that I paused the video. Um, this is the brand of sweet almond oil I use. The Now brand. And I normally get it off of Amazon. I already added it in here. So, my next is canola oil. And let's do... You want to make sure your measurements are precise because you don't want anything to be off when you are creating soap because it, it can throw the um, chemical balance off and either be too acidic or whatever. Um, They have like um, soap testing strips that you can buy like off Amazon or whatever and then after you cut your um, soap you can like um wet the top and put the strip on and it'll tell you like if your um soap is within the range of good um of a good bar. Also when it, when you're calculating your recipe, if you go to soapcalc.com, all you have to do is type in soap calc on Google, it will give you um type in like you find the ingredients you want and it pretty much you have to play around with it that's how I, I did mine and it'll pretty much give you your measurements for each oil and butter and it'll tell you the range I forgot what it's called but it'll tell you the range number of um like the type of bar you have you want to be within a certain um range but all that is on soap calc you can also um watch uh calculate in soap recipes on google you know you just gotta kind of do your research i am not an expert i do not claim to be this is not a tutorial this is just how i prep my soap so i did olive oil canola oil sweet almond oil so now i'm gonna move that and put my container here and measure out my coconut oil and my shea butter and then I'll just pop it in the microwave to melt it I won't if it's not melted all the way it's fine um I just don't want to overheat it because if you overheat um your butters it can lose like the properties so I normally use my uh what do you call it my portable heater I forgot what you call the goddamn thing I just don't I know what nothing is called today but a lot of times I just pop it in the microwave if it's not melted um, all the way I just use my stick blender to melt it the rest of the way and I don't have any spoons and that's unfortunate because this is not giving what it's supposed to but let's Continue on because it's flimsy. I'll be here all day. I'm sorry if this video is so long. Oh my gosh. See what y'all made me do? I'm so nosy. Anytime I hear something outside, I gotta look outside. I'm going to come back when I've measured out how much I'm supposed to measure out, y'all. Because y'all don't want to see all this. But, yeah, I'm just measuring out what I'm supposed to measure out in here. And then I'll put the shea butter in here and melt it and then add it to my oils. Okay, guys. So, this is the coconut oil and shea butter in this container. I'm going to melt it in the microwave. 
Um, I've I just recently because I was in a rush, I needed shea butter like ASAP, no Rocky. And I got this from the same company I get my jojoba oil and sweet almond oil from. Um, the shea butter, I don't like it, but I'm going to use it because I paid for it. I don't know why it looks like that. I don't even know if y'all can really see it, but it looks kind of beady. I normally get my shea butter from another company or sometimes Wholesale Supplies Plus, but I'm using this until it's gone. So, um... I'll repeat the same process for the second batch. So what I'm going to do is melt this and pour it in here. And that's pretty much it. And I do add my, uh, well, I guess I can show y'all that part too. So I'll be right back. Let me go melt this and then we'll add it here. Okay, guys. So like I said, I got it melted in this, con oops, this container here. And I'm just going to pour it. Add it into the rest of my oils. <laughs> like so. So these are all the oils that I will need to make my soap. Um, plus the shea butter. And I get, I add my... I add Colada Oatmeal to these bars. So, uh, this little thingy I have in here is like two tablespoons. So, I just do one scoop and add it. And I also get my... I also, also add <laughs> Kale and Clay to these bars. And I just do one scoop of those as, this as well. And I get both of um, these from... Wholesale Supplies Plus. So, yep, I'll put you up on game. Okay, and that's pretty much it. And then I'll repeat the same process, like I said previously, for the next batch. Um, and then I'll probably do a separate video on how I make my activated charcoal and turmeric bars. I, I might, if I don't get around to making the soap today, I'll definitely make it tomorrow. So, the video should be up within the next couple of days but I didn't want to make this video too long so yeah and then this is how I prep my oils and my light solution and like I said I want to wait till they're 15 degrees um, apart from each other so now I'm just gonna repeat this process for the second batch and stay tuned for how I actually make the soap so you'll see me mix the light solution with the oils and butters in the next video so thank you guys so much for watching please hit the subscribe button hit the like button comment down below if you have any video ideas any um questions or concerns i'll try to answer what i can answer but like i said i am not a pro and if there's anything that i didn't mention that i don't mind telling you i don't mind answering the questions but if i don't answer it's either because i didn't see it or you should just do your own research all right thanks stay blessed and be safe